All right, guys, welcome to another monthly update on the fish room. And I have to say that we are finally running 100% renewable energy on the whole fish room, the whole house with a backup battery, which is awesome. So we have a, a couple things that I need to do in the fish room today, along with some general updates on some of the racks that I'm gonna be moving around, tanks and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start with the shrimp rack and uh, kind of move on from there. So in this tank here, we have a bunch of uh, calls on the cherry shrimps here, a bunch of those along with some snails. And then also we have some small pluckle fries that are sprung out in this tank. Next tank across is the yellow, um, the neon yellows. Uh, we have some rabbit snails along in here as well. I thought I saw a baby one. Yeah, there's a baby one there. Maybe we have a snail that's growing, but then we have some adults that didn't make it um, on some of the shipment there. So, you know, it happens, but uh, shrimp are looking good. Next tank here we have is uh, some blue dreams. We had some spinach from yesterday uh, that they didn't finish, but it's still in there. So we have blue dreams, and then this is another call tank along with some more pucko fries that's in this tank. And down here is the shrimp tank. And then uh, there was a bunch of rabbit snails in here, like baby ones um, that had saw kind of just running around, but I don't see them in here where I can kind of just point them out to you. In the last uh, update, um, I pointed out like one, but when I was looking a little bit closer in the tank, I noticed like a few of them. So there's definitely a few rabbit uh, snails in here. So they're breeding uh, pretty decently in here. So hopefully that does well. So over here um, on the plucker rack, uh, I normally don't keep any lights um, on here at all just because they like it dark in general and they have like light coming up here and a little bit of light coming from um, opening up the garage here. So the general update on the pleco is no breeding. Um, they normally don't breed for me in the summer. It's more of like fall and like winter time is when I see breeding uh, occur. And really right now I'm just trying to keep them fed healthy, uh, fat and prepped for winter um, to breed. Um, I did have to move a couple of guys um, out of this area so that they wouldn't fight each other. Um, but other than that, um, you know, not really much uh, going on here. Oh, the one thing is I'm going to be removing um, all of these um, lava rocks that I had in here. I figured that they kind of just get in the way of the fish and they're kind of rough. So some of these fish, they like to kind of run around and kind of injure them. I mean, initially I had plants on them when I had a light across here, but you know, I, I removed that since then. So I'll go ahead and just remove all of those um, so that way they can just swim a little bit easier. So we got some glares, I'm gonna try to stay in an angle here, but you know, all the rocks removed here, so a lot cleaner, uh, a lot more room for them to swim around, so that's gonna be good. A lava rock, we'll let that dry out, and then once that dries out, we'll kind of set that aside. All right, so that that's done. Then the Pleco grow out slash the cell tank, so this is where I keep all my, you know, ready to sell uh, Plecos in this tank until they're sold, um, and then just pick them out, but this is just a temporary setup, but eventually um, I'm going to be moving this tank and this tank out of the way so that I can pick up like this shelf here and put it over there um, so that we can have, a, you know, move this tank up there. Um, and then we have a couple of extra uh, tanks set up on a rack, similar to, similar to like this setup here. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take those two and put them across into the new one and kind of put like that one down and then put like, and put like this tank here in the middle so you can actually kind of see them uh, a little bit better um but yeah that that's the idea so eventually we'll we'll you know we'll move this tank down here so i'll have to you know clean everything and drain it which is gonna suck but the substrate does you know it's about that time it's almost like you know over over a year now since the substrate has been established in here so we need to change it up anyways but i think i'm going to switch to instead of pouring out um more substrate and just having to dig it up it kind of sucks i might just use the pots and just grow them in there and then just remove the plants you know 
as uh, as it grows and, and whatnot and propagates. But while we're here with the tank, you know, the fish are doing okay, decent. I haven't scraped the, the walls uh, yet, but I'll probably need to do that today. Plants are going to be kind of shaky just because it's like hot summertime. It doesn't, you know, it's not optimal temperature for it to grow. Same thing down here. I kind of lost most of the plants down there, but wintertime, like springtime, this is when that tank flourishes. So we gotta, we gotta figure out what's going on here. Um, eventually, like I said, the plant tank is going to be inside the, the house. I want to kind of get things moved around, but uh, for the time being, that's gonna be as is. Um, not really much going on there. Uh, the battery over here. Um, so I think I'm going to like leave like this section open. In initially, I was going to put like two racks across here. It was gonna cover this, but I guess if we had need access to this or services uh, to the battery or whatnot, like it's going to be impossible to get to the battery, you know, if there's a rack in front of it. So my my thought is just putting one rack here and then leaving this side open, and then that way I have my tools and stuff here. Batteries, uh, the batteries have been up for a week now. Uh, I've only been using like 10% of the battery. A lot of it is um, going to be. Uh, there for blackouts or you know when we lose power and that's what you know this is really for anyways I'm not you know there to sit there and, and drain it down to 50% and, and use it again just because um, my electric rate is flat there's no like increase in like you know usage at like 5 p.m. or whatever it's just the same rate so this is going to be dedicated just for backup so Really, it's just chilling there um, until uh, we lose power. I, not, you know, don't really have much to say other than yeah, it's here. It's it's gonna you know work hopefully. <laughs> so later today, I'm going to go and order another uh, low boy. Um, that way, when it comes in, I will move one of these racks over there and kind of set everything up. But you know, I have time. Um, it's gonna take time to tear this down anyway, so I'm gonna have to move this. The idea again, I think I'm going to move this one or the one back there, one of those, one of these racks, put it over there. And this is going to either sit where this is gonna sit, this is gonna be pushed down, so like these are going to be pushed down. Um, uh, and that way like we have kind of like maybe a, a tank in the center here where you have access to all four walls or whatever. And then the only thing is um, I don't really have a plug for that, so I'm gonna have to use that plug and probably just shimmy it across there and drop it from there. Um, and figure out how how to do that without it being all like just cluttered like whatever that is over there so all right so i just came back from the local fish store uh to place the order on the uh, low boy so that should be coming in uh in a couple weeks or so uh, whenever that comes in we'll set it aside it's no rush in terms of setting that up um but yeah, um, that is the update for the month. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, till next time guys, peace.